topic, but I'm going to Korea. So I planned this literally last Saturday, made it official last Sunday, and fast forward to Monday. Um, this is the most spontaneous thing I've ever done. I'm going to Busan, which is my dad's hometown, and then I'm going to Jeju, which is like the island off of Korea. It's kind of like the Catalina of SoCal. And then I'm going to Seoul. And so this is my fourth time going. I had the privilege of traveling growing up. And so this time I do have a lot of solo time. So I'm trying to do all like the, the TikTok stuff. But yeah, like this is so spontaneous. I will just say, I think because I have a lot of freedom being in my postgrad and I don't really know what to do with my life, still try to figure it out. And like, I'm job searching, working part-time. I got six covered shifts, six shifts covered. Um, and so, yeah, I like so can't believe it. I'm actually kind of sad to be like leaving just because I love my friends um, here. And I don't know, I feel like I'm going for 10 days. It's a long time in my opinion. I feel like traveling should be you know a little longer i guess like that's what people have been saying like oh it's gonna go by a breeze but like i still literally dropped everything and like i don't feel like it's happening because it's like so surreal but anyways i'm gonna show you my room because it's absolutely atrocious don't look my feet but yeah my room is a complete mess i'm trying to refresh shout out to austin um he sold me his pc i like just got a wi-fi adapter um, I know the haters are gonna hate because I should get an ethernet cable. I'm about to put new bedding. This is like the Asian blanket, if you know what you know. But yeah, no, I just took like my story of like my carry-on and my checkout bo uh, box, um, my airport outfit. I'm gonna do like a combo of shorts and pants and then purple charger stuff. Um, yeah, it's not looking pretty. <laughs> like I put the box outside because yeah. How do you feel about Korea? What is this? My camera. You bought it? Yeah, a while ago. How much? <laughs> uh, like 300, 400? How do you feel about Korea? Korea, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Excited? Yes. It's just us two, dream team. Alright, bye. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. So, um, it is currently 5 p.m. I'm all dressed up now, and my room is clean. And then I'm going to uh, charge my stuff. I'm going to charge my bed, it's crusty. Um, so I carry on, I'm putting that on my camera, I'm putting all my creative stuff in there. And then all packed up to go. Oops, I didn't clean that. But yeah, um, it's coming together. I'm going to be leaving it soon. I'll let you know. Okay, bye. Made it through, uh, what is it? Uh, customs, right? We're going to the Star Lounge. Lounge. <laughs> 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 Have you been here before? All the time. All the time? Because you're a rich man, huh? What are you eating? Poor. Star Alliance lunch and he's eating pho. The food the boy like food. Huh? Like the food. Yeah, I will. Okay.
first class is upstairs. Upstairs. <laughs> Here, let they give you a lot. What if, show, show the camera, Mo Moya. Slipper. Slipper. In the toothbrush. 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 And then, you go. Container. Blanket. 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 What are you going to do for the majority of the flights? Hmm? What are you going to do for the majority of the Slip. flights? Slipper. only day one out here in freaking Korea. I'm not meant to be moving this much. Oh my gosh. I'm literally dying. But I just see, I just saw my, my, uh, my stepdad. Not my stepdad, what am I saying? My dad and my uncle and my aunt from my dad's side. But this is the view. That's my hotel. I kind of want to look at the other side of the, um, what is it? I'm literally so delirious. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm definitely from America. Okay, bye.
So we just ate the amazing sushi. Japanese um, sushi. Japanese sushi. Thanks, Kanama. And we're going to the Songdo cable tram ride. Right. Oh. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? We're dying. 80 degree weather. Going up the stairs. Okay, bye. slippers. Um, yeah, I'm starting to like it here. Let's see the view. Pretty. Excellent time. Okay, you're okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> 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 there. Who? Why do you say that? We are home now from from uh, what is it? Walking around all day. What do you have to say, Appa? Huh? What do you have to say about today? Tired, aren't we all? Um, I need to plan my day for tomorrow. I don't know that looks like. You're such a liar. <laughs> Appa, you know I'm recording? <laughs> Anywho, um, I'm trying to go to Kamchon village for sure. We'll get a drink. Um, need a shop for souvenirs. Um, who knows? But I'm tired. It is probably, it's 8, 9 p.m. right now. So it's probably 6 a.m. at home, around there. Or 6 a.m. for him, I don't remember. Okay, bye. Hello, so today is day two in Korea. It is technically what? It's Thursday here, but Wednesday in SoCal. But this is the view, it's so pretty. by the port. Same idea as a Long Beach port. How did you sleep? Oh, sorry. <laughs> the day, 
plan today is to do, um, what is it? We might go to Hounded, um, because my uncle is there, and then, um, my uncle is there, maybe, uh, I'm trying to go to the Kamchun Village, like I said yesterday, but, yeah, we'll see. So, I'm here in, uh, well, I'm in Busan, South Korea. Ah! I cannot believe it. Um, I guess a little background. I literally planned this last Monday and then I left SoCal this past Monday. And it is now Thursday in South Korea, but it's Wednesday in SoCal. Um, but yeah, I just had two excruciatingly long days, um, and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be here, the opportunity to see my family again, like I love seeing them. Even though there is a language and cultural barrier, um, I would take any opportunity to see them, and I do, like, want to acknowledge about the fact that this is my first time being here without visiting my grandpa who passed around like two, three years ago. And I don't know, it's like, it kind of seems like something's missing, like it's not feeling as, you know, like as homey anymore. Um, Cause I feel like I would be more motivated to see him, but um, yeah, he just updated, they, my family members just updated his grave. But yeah, anyways, yeah, I got to explore the city as you probably saw from the video. Um, it's been really fun and just taking a breather from life, even though I literally have no responsibilities. But yeah, I do want to say that I am realizing something about myself is that when traveling, I really value, you know, resting. I really value communicating, you know, my needs or like my boundaries when it comes to traveling. And I think I just want to express and emphasize that, you know, as I'm not really familiar with the country or certain things around the area where they just, certain people just feel the need to just take over. And sometimes a girl needs her matcha and a girl needs just time on her own. And so, yeah, I just wanted to come and say this in this moment where when um, I had the time to just be lazy and just sit like it's so bad that I just want to sit or like not talk or just actually I'm talking right now but like you know what I'm saying I just I just want to make decisions on my own without feeling like it's burdening someone else and um, I just wanted to speak about that and I don't ever want to take that away it's something that coexists with the fact that I am extremely grateful that I got to go on this trip with my dad. I got to see my family and really enjoy the city and just see my family. And um, I feel myself very conflicted with that and I don't want that to happen. Um, and so I just wanted to have that space here where I could just say that I have both of those like feelings, both of those emotions. And so thanks for listening. Right. So
So day two of breakfast. What are you eating? What are you eating? No, what are you eating? Salad. Salad. Mandu. And mandu. And it is currently raining today. So we shall see if we are going to go to the Adios.